Hi, my name is Sister Catherine Nihad. I'm the current prioress of St. Paul's Monastery here in St. Paul, Minnesota, and we are the home to the Benedictine Sisters. And we just want to say thank you for the opportunity to provide uh, our reflection on this wonder wonderful opportunity that we've been granted um, for the Mission Advancement 2.0 grant. It has really advanced um, the possibilities for communicating our story with the public and inviting them to journey with us. I am Sister Paula Hagen. I was the prioress at the time that the staff um, submitted um, the proposal for a grant. Jeff Doles was very, very helpful um, in the final editing of that. We were really have been so blessed, so excited to go to the training. Uh, they recommended that we have three people come to the training, the prioress, the, at that time she was called development director, and um, a lay uh, a person who had a business experience. The training was outstanding. We came home clearly with a new vision, new idea of what we needed to do and how since they helped to develop our skills, we had the skills to do it. Um, next was setting up the audit, uh, and Andrea just did a fantastic job of meeting with small groups of people, uh, both the sisters um, and the staff, professional staff, the volunteers, um, and the Benedictine Associates, Oblates. All the units were represented um, in the focus groups that she did. From that, she compiled the audit report, which was so helpful for a broad picture of how all of these units need to, could work together uh, to advance the mission of St. Paul's Monastery. The skills that I learned there were very helpful to me, and I'm deeply grateful grateful for this opportunity that was given to us. I'm Sister Lucia Swickerad from St. Paul's Monastery, and I served as interim director of our Mission Advancement Department um, in 2020. This is the time of COVID, and the, the community had advanced its development department by the time I became the uh, director, so the help that we got from mission Advancing Mission 2.0 was unbelievable because, in this time of COVID because it went, everything went virtual and mission, Advancing Mission 2.0 provided for us a uh, marketing and communication director it now, this marketing and communication director is very active in our community and it was one of the best um, decisions that we made because of the advice we got from you. The um, other things that were very helpful to us was the, uh, the financial and revenue expense projections. These will be informing our plans, our strategic plans for the next years. And it will be very helpful uh, in the process that we're about to launch. In the meantime, during the, the COVID time, we turned to a virtual open house and presented that to be a, ve a very successful friend raiser. It, it, um, we made great strides with Raising Friends, and we are uh, in the process of using the, um, the plan, the development plan for our future development goals and implementation. So thank you so much for all that you have done through this Advancing Mission 2.0. We would not be where we are today if it wouldn't have been for you. Thank you.
And I too thank you for this wonderful opportunity um, that calls us to grow in identifying who we are, sharing our story and inviting others to journey with us. We benefited in so many ways. And so as we approach this season of Advent, we as Benedictines would always welcome guests as Christ. And so we pray your blessings um, on all that you do as you await the coming of Christ, especially during this Christmas season.